Apparently, someone wanted to hide this statue. This horse resembles a large chess piece. There is a message underneath this statue. Let's see. This message was written by a woman, but for whom was it intended? Interesting, this chess game. An ink stain. The ink stain on the floor comes from the ink on the rug, but they are not in the same place. Someone has moved the rug recently. That is curious. There is something strange on the floor. Certain stones have been marked out, just like a chessboard. That is curious. There is something strange on the floor. I need something. That is cure. I need something. That is cure. I need something. That's not right. Start again. This last piece should be the good one. It will have to be pulled free. I need something. I need something. I need something. I need something. I need something.
packet of letters addressed to the Reverend. They were written by a woman who mentions his illegitimate children. Their affair isn't official. Perfect. I have you now, my wayward Reverend. Ah, Watson. You were gone a terribly long time, and Inspector Baines isn't with you? I'm afraid not, Holmes. We were unable to find him. Dr. Watson would not allow me to contact any inspector other than this Baines. What manners! I am a man of the church. My dear Reverend, I notice that you are a chess lover. I trust you will excuse me, but I am never able to resist the appeal of a half-finished game. You are an expert at chess. Very well, then. What do you want now? As you might have guessed, resolving your small chess problem has allowed me to discover some very interesting letters. Letters? What do they say? Reverend, why hide these letters here and run the risk of the bishop finding them? Holmes, what's in the letters? Not now, Watson. Where else could I have hidden them? My own chambers are too austere. They could offer no cover. I knew, however, that His Excellency, may he rest in peace, would not notice my game. The contents of the Bishop of Knightsbridge's chest interest me greatly. Give me the elements you hold, Reverend. Out of the question. With the bishop no more, you are therefore the apostolic director of the diocese, are you not? Well, yes, but only until someone else is appointed. I am certain that the Honourable Bishop of York, whom I have the privilege of knowing well enough for him to listen to what I have to say, would recognise your qualities for the post. If I receive new responsibilities, it will be through my faith and devotion, nothing else. Do you understand that you are the prime suspect in this terrible murder? What? But that's ridiculous. Think for one moment, who profits from this crime? Not me! I think so, yes. With the Bishop of Knightsbridge no longer here, you are now the Apostolic Director of the Diocese, are you not? Yes, until another incumbent is appointed, but... A position which should logically come to you. The police will not overlook that. They will never believe you. But of course they will. Do not forget who I am, Reverend. You. You are odious. Here are the stems that you are looking for. You have one. Evidently, as I always do. What are you able to tell us about the Bishop of Knightsbridge's last days? Did anyone come to visit him? Did he seem worried, anxious? Do not omit the smallest detail. His nephew came to see him yesterday at His Excellency's request. I found this visit a little peculiar because the young man rarely visits his uncle. Do you know why that might be? Were they on bad terms? I don't think so. It's rather a consequence of his work. The young man is employed within the archive section of the Royal Library, which doesn't leave him with a lot of free time. Do you know the reason for his summons? No, but the conversation was very heated. It only lasted for a few minutes and ended with the nephew in a terrible rage. Interesting. I've answered your questions. Will you now let me contact the authorities? I'm afraid not, Reverend. Not just yet. All right, now we can open the safe. Now we can open the safe. <laughs> 